everybody and welcome back to my channel. I washed this and so it's a little bit out of sorts, but it will have to do. Um, today we are going to make, not going to work, um, <coughs> we're going to make a peanut butter protein balls. Um, there are many different types of ways to make this recipe, um, but usually the main ingredients are peanut butter and oats and honey and usually a pinch of salt. Some you can do like chocolate chips, some you can do um, like some molasses instead of honey, you know there's different variations, but for the most part that's pretty much straightforward the way to go. Um, our recipe today, I'm going to leave out two things, um, which you're more than welcome to add, but um, I don't want them as a part of my diet specifically, but um, we have three-fourths cup old-fashioned rolled oats, half cup all-natural peanut butter, two tablespoons ground flaxseed or chia seeds, I'm not going to be doing that two tablespoons hemp hearts, I won't be doing that, two tablespoons honey or maple syrup if you want it to be vegan, and a pinch of sea salt, fine sea salt. I also have coconut, um, which is why I'm not going to be adding chocolate chips to this because I'm just going to add a little bit of coconut. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We've got our oats right here and half cup of all natural peanut butter. So you wouldn't want to use um, something super high in sugar because this already has some sweet stuff in it. And I'm going to measure with my heart because that's what I do. So I'm just gonna do two heaping spoonfuls. This, by the way, is the best peanut butter in my opinion, and you don't have to stir it, and you can store it in your fridge if you want to, but there it is. That's the best one, and um, there is a little bit of palm oil, but that's it. There's no added sugar, so that's really great. Okay, so that here. Pinch of sea salt. And let me double check here really quick. <clears throat> Two tablespoons honey. Again, I'm gonna measure with my heart. So that's one tablespoon. And that's probably a tablespoon. Now, at this point, this would be delicious, just fine the way it is. I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, coconut. Sorry, my camera is cutting me off a little bit. I, uh, with the lighting situation, because I'm doing this video um, at dusk, that's just the angle we got. All right, that's very sticky. I'm going to see how I can get along with just mixing it with my spoon. A spatula would be better. Must be because the coconut I got was sweet and super sticky. Oh, that's much better. All right, I'm just going to roll this around. Let me speed it up here a little bit.
this is all mixed. So now we're going to put it into a ball shape. You can eat it right away or chill in your fridge for a little while. And these will store in your fridge for, I believe, three to four days. But I will double check that recipe. And of course, I will link it down below. this is kind of a interesting adventure. I uh, have a new phone, so we'll have to see how the lighting looks. For some reason, under my lights, I look a little bit more yellow. I'm not really sure why. Um, I don't know if I introduced you guys, but here we go. Here's my fish. Mr. Frankie. Or Freddy. My niece uh, named him, so... Um, I went ahead and put those in the fridge to chill. Um, probably maybe like an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Um, the peanut butter was chilled, so it probably won't even take that long. So, all right, I will show you guys the finished product when I'm done. Um, again, there's tons of different ways to make these, um, you could do the chocolate chips, you could add raisins, you could add cranberries, you could do cranberries and white chocolate, that would be really good. Uh, you could do um, some caramel bits in it. Uh, you could, any dried fruit, really. Um, you could also um, pour a little bit of chocolate drizzle on top. You can make them as healthy or unhealthy as you want. Um, and they're no big, and they're super easy, and that's the great thing about it. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch my channel. I really appreciate it. And um, I will see you in the next clip and next time. And through the magic of television or YouTube. Here they are. I made seven. Um, so if you're wanting to have like a couple for breakfast every day or something like that, I recommend doubling the recipe. Let's give these a try. They're great. If you are looking for a super, super easy, delicious snack, breakfast, dessert, these are for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.